Hello, the Lakman family, Mkoaje. How are you guys? Nimekuwa busy, sijakuwa na network vizuri, nimekuwa ikisumbwa. Um, but kuna mtu alikuwa anauliza ni nini unafaa kufanya wakati uko karibu kumaliza contract. Nilikuwa nataka kusema hiyo kitu last time on Friday but network yangu imekuwa tu mbaya. Naona kama size iko sawa kidogo. So nimesema acha tu I share it out here. Unafaa kufanya nini? Acha niongea haraka haraka saa zingine maybe hata inaweza inaweza sumbua bado. Contract wa inamaliza 24 months. So ukifika 22 months ndio unafaa kuambia boss wako utaenda nyumbani. Umujulishe mapema. Umujulishe mapema ikifika mwambie madam unajua imebaki 2 months. Uanze kumwambia ikibaki 2 months hata uanze kumwambia ikibaki 3 months. Umkumbushe umwambie ikifika the 24th month unafaa kuenda home. Unajua kuna watu wana assume tu. Alafu ukiassume mwarabu atafikiria unataka kukaa. Unajua hata hawata kuuliza. Watafikiria unataka kuendelea kuishi hapo. So hawata kuuliza ni wewe mwenyewe utasema unamwambia madam the moment i finish my contract i want to go back home they get prepared waanze kukuorganizea wa kuprocessia vile utatoka juu wao ndio watakutafutia exit visa wao ndio watakuprocessia juu wao ndio walichua kama yako waone kama ime expire kwa sababu kuna wengine una wanafanyanga kazi mpaka ikama ikama zina expire so ye mwenyewe ndiye atajua vile atarudisha hiyo ikama akuprocessia mpaka upate exit julia maina how are you uh, so kuna mtu alisema ati like moms the other time nikasema ai akasema tuambie ile vitu tunafaa kufanya na zenye tufai kufanya mtu ukikaribia kumaliza contract lakini ya kwanza unasema mapema ukifika 20, 22 months ambia boss wako utaenda juu kuna wale wenye mabosi wao wa wanawaambia utaenda anashinda akikuuliza na hata kuna wengine huwa wanaambianga watu ati usimwambie unaenda unyamaza tu hadi umalize contract Ukinyamaza hadi umaliza contract itabidi umeongeza miezi miwili mbele. Kwa sababu huko wapea time wa kupange. Juu kuna process. So ni wewe utawaambia mapema uambie mimi nikimaliza contract mimi narudi nyumbani. Wawe wakijua unataka kuenda home. Wewe anauliza hai kama we expire after how long? Si kama yenye unapewa wewe inakuanga ya 2 years. Siki ukikaa more than 2 years ina expire. Hi like mama hope you're doing well. Me too. Fresh wangare wangu hii. I'm very okay. Nimekuwa tu shule ya mtoto wangu leo nimeenda meeting ndio nimerudi saa hii. But nikasema hata nijibu kuna mtu alikuwa anasema anataka kujua ni kitu gani nafaa kufanya. Tena kuna huyu mwarabu una, unajua na unasikia na kuuliza utarudi. Unajua kuna watu wako na kisirani yao tu. Maybe mara ya kwanza kwanza alikuwa anakusumbua. Ah. Uh, Leona anasema hi Debra siku hizi network yako huwa mbaya sana. Tafuta place inashika vizuri. Size I think so hope size mnanipata by the way. Nisiwe ni mimi naimba tu. Ah uh, mogo coin choke nyonyancha following from Migori Kuria Mabera. Watu wa Mabera wako aje. Salimia watu wa Mabera najua size watu wako karibu kwa harvest huko Mabera tutakuja kwa vest Sasa uh, sijui kama mnanisikia I'm trying at least niambie watu wenye wako karibu kumaliza kwa najua kuna ule mtu akona wasiwasi na hakuna mtu atakwambia juu kila mtu kwa nyumba yake maybe amjuani watu wengi wengi huwa wana meet hapa center kwa the luck mom at least tuna share pamoja wale wenye wanajua wanatuambia So kuna huyu mwarabu huwa anakusumbua lakini ameanza kukuwa mzuri mwisho mwisho anaanza kukwambia ukirudi nitakuongeza mshahara unajua watu wana akili azifanani juu utaona mwenye alikuwa anakutesa sasa hizi ameanza kukuwa mzuri akiona umebakisha 3 months asante sana mokoko umebakisha 3 months hapo ndio anakuwa mzuri unapewa zawadi zenye huko unapewa anajaribu kununua akili yako kwa sababu hawapendi kutrain watu wageni wanataka tu urudi hapo so anaona tu kitu anaweza sema ni kukusweet talk tu urudi 
ndio ukirudi huko tena atakufungia kwa sababu siku hizi wanataka kujua tu ukienda anakulipia tiketi ya kurudi hautapitia kwa ofisi tena utakuwa umemsevia ile pesa yenye atanunua made na hiyo pesa hata kuongeza juu kama atakuongeza atakuongeza mia ama mia mbili oh dina lucas thank you for getting me clear so watu wasiingie kwa hizo traps kama unaona unataka kubadilisha nyumba we uende tena uanze na ofisi ukitoka na ofisi huwa inakuanga vizuri sana kwa sababu kuna kuna msichana rafiki yangu wa, alirudi the same house akupitia kwa ofisi sasa hizi anapitia mateso mpaka hata anashindwa anzie wapi juu mara ya kwanza walikuwa wabaya akaenda kumalizia ukakuwa wazuri wakamconvince akarudi the same house na huwa nikijaribu kufundisha watu wati usirudi kwa hiyo nyumba siambi si mtu asiende Saudi Arabia by then iliundua watu wengine wana misinterpret sana mimi sijaiambia mtu asiende Saudi Arabia huwa anambianga mtu kuenda huko ni personal choice hakuna mtu analazimisha mtu lakini at least ni vizuri tukijua juu mtu anasema kama unajua mtu anapanda gari apate ajali mbona unamwambia asipande kwa hivyo aende safari a a wewe mwenye unaenda Saudi Arabia hata kama ni saa hii anza safari lakini ujue vile utaji present in a foreign land ujue tu umeenda kufanya kazi na ufuate sheria za hiyo nchi so akikwambia tu utarudi we muambie au arabu wa mama sana sana huwa wanasema uh, ati bwana wakitaka kufanya kitu lazima aseme bwana yake aulizwe hata we muambie uta, unataka kurudi lakini lazima pia bwana yako aongee aseme kama utaki kurudi mwambie tu hata mimi nataka kurudi ndio usikate tiketi lakini lazima bwana yangu pia kubali juu sasa hata ku, hata kulazimishia unaona at least ndio utoke hapo ukiwa na amani usiwe na wasi kujua watu wanaopanga kuongea ukweli wasema tu mimi nitarudi tu nakatiwa ticket na urudi mimi siko Saudi unaona mimi siko Saudi niko nyumbani niko Kenya nilikuja Kenya March so niko hapa na miezi hapa Kenya So uki usi 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 nini usimfurahisha ati sasa utarudi alafu katiwe ticket na usirudi. Afadhali tu mwambie unaweza taka kurudi ndio lakini pia mzee wako lazima ndio atapeana jibu. Jua hata wewe umetumwa uende kufanya kazi. Unaona? Mwoka anasema thank you for good presentation dear. Thank you. Ah uh, Karen na Simio anasema good mom job from Riyadh. Karibu sana kutoka Gembo Rona. Thank you. So we mwambie tu Unataka kurudi lakini pia mzee wako lazima atasema na wale watu wenye mlikuwa mnasema mko single tulisema Saudi Arabia ukienda huko unasema uko married ndio pia upate hiyo heshima kidogo waone tu unataka kazi sio mabwana zao so wewe mwenyewe utakuwa umesema uko married so wanajua tu ukienda nyumbani pia utakuwa umemisi mzee wako na yeye ndiye atakupatia nafasi ya kurudi Saudi Arabia so, so usiwe ule mtu wa kusema ah saa zile unaonyesha hutaki kurudi ndio hapo ndio unapatanga watu the don't hiyo sasa ni don't ndio sasa unapata watu mtu anawekewa kasumu juu anaona tu utaki kuru... yale kuna watu wako na rombaya hiyo nayo ukweli useme kuna mwarabu anaona kwanza siku za mwisho mwisho watu wakuwe very careful ikiwa ulikuwa una nini like mimi sai wangu nilimwambia nataka kuhomu akaniambia siwezi hom cause sijamaliza ikama yangu nikamwambia mimi nilimaliza miezi tatu nilipoingia kwa nyumba yake only one month ni home please what can i what can i story bwana ya ha alinunua na yeye sasa ananiingisha ati nini doko anasema lazima aulize bwana yake anauliza bwana yake waje na contract yako inasema 2 years ukimaliza 2 years na unataka kuhomu ni pie simu anita anasema i like bamu napenda vile unaambia wasichana wetu ukweli wao ukua wazuri ukibakisha 3 months huwa wanasahau wa mabaya yenye walikufanya na niliwapa moyo mpaka the last time nikitoka nikawa show naenda naenda one week zawadi nazo nilipewa bado wa, wananingojea <laughs> unasikia anita aliwaambia ataenda tu haya pola na rona anasema good presentation good advice so hizi siku za mwisho mwisho watu wakuwe very careful na kitu yenye unakula hiyo sio lazima ukule hiyo chakula yenye ulikuwa unalilia juu ni few days remaining we mwenyewe ufike nyumbani hizi siku za mwisho mwisho uwanga mbaya sana Unapata hao watu kuna vitu walikuwa nakufanyia na wanapenda privacy, wanaona kama utaenda kuwa expose. Ndio kwa Mwarabu nafaa kunyamaza Mwarabu asikusoma ati we ni mtu utaenda kurobokwa. Wakijua utaenda kurobokwa wanaweza kutilia sumu. Hiyo hiyo imewahi fanyika tena kwa sio mtu mmoja. Be very careful na kitu yenye unakula siku za mwisho mwisho. Kama hujaangalia vile inapikwa hivi mpaka ikapakuliwa kuja pole pole. 
hiyo sasa ni don't usikule kitu yenye unaona vile imetengenezwa kama mjakuwa in good terms na huyo mtu unaona kama anakukazia kazia unaona wewe mwenyewe hata ukikunywa maji haina shida good articulation Joseph from Homa Bay mimi ni mwalimu na wazapata kazi huko hakuna ukienda Saudi Arabia hakuna kufundisha masomo unaweka kidogo unafanya hizi kazi zingine za physical work they just import labor wale watu wa kufagia compound na drivers na maids au ndio visa zao ziko Kenya. Uh, if you get genuine business please open an agent office to sidear kuwatuma pazuri wafanya kazi. Ah, uh, that is a good idea mogoko. But I'm not ready to open an office. The only thing I'll just do is just to create awareness what wasome. Pia kama kuna mwingine anataka kufungua agent anafungua tu. But for me imeshukuru sana because maybe umeona naweza lakini siwezi kubali kufanya hiyo kazi ya agency kwa sababu agents anaweza kuwa mzuri ule msichana unatuma aenda apate bosi mbaya na ule bosi yako kwa country yake unajua utaweza kumcontrol ah uh, hi lucky mom nauliza na issue ya kusema kama uko na miaka 40 and above hakuna kurudi Saudi na labda nataka kurudi huko na nimefikisha hiyo miaka but in the same house unarudi si ni bosi wako atakukubali unarudi tu kuna, kuna mama alienda na 47 years. Kuna agency ina, inapelekanga watu wenye mpaka na 47 kama upiti kwa ofisi zima training. Kuna wale watu wenye wamejulikana wa professionals. I think kuna mama aliniambia story kama hiyo. Kama unataka nitakumtafutia. Unajua watu wananitumia message WhatsApp wengi lakini huyo nikitafuta hizo conversation naweza mpata. Asante mamu kwa information and help. Thank you. Ukweli kabisa dada pia maji ukipakisha kwa glass ama chupa usikunywe mwaga. Huyu amesema ukweli wa mambo. Mwaga maji. Uh, by the way na uh, uki aki unaongea ukweli mama. Thank you Debra. Ah watu ni wabaya kuna dem walimkas ati ameiba ki na earphone imagine bado hajaingia online. Thanks for your response. Thank you. Lona history ya huyu dem by the kwa hivi eh uh, kabla sijaenda mbali by the way na if you like what i'm doing you can go to my youtube channel by the way you subscribe to the like mom's channel my channel youtube channel kama unaniona mara ya kwanza inaitwa the like mom debra nyanchoka you can support me by subscribing to my channel i'll just appreciate uh, uh kabisa five months ku home clara anasema lakini wa filipino ni shida hata sioni nikimaliza sijui nifanyeje Filipina sikushitue huyo ni mboch tu kama wewe. Au Filipino wana wako na maneno lakini tolea ye macho. Na unajua hata Filipino mwenyewe anaweza kukuua lakini mtolee macho na usimame imara kwa sababu nyinyi wote ni wafanyikazi wa hiyo nyumba. Usiogope Filipino by the way. Asikuletee shida. Jaribu kusimama imara. Wanapenda hivyo, wanapenda hivyo kuset watu kwa maboses na hata chakula pia. By the way, uh, sijui ni nini mbaya inakuanga na wasichana lakini Clara hiyo isikushtua hata kidogo. Wasikushtue. Unaona Judy tamesema vumilia tu and be silent. Unanyamaza. Unanyamaza kabisa. Imagine huyo Lona, huyo msichana Lona alikuwa anasema sijui nitafanya video yake. Huyo msichana ati msichana wa hiyo nyumba aka aka misplace ki ya gari. Ki ya gari na kijana aka akapoteza headphones. Sasa walikuwa wanamkazia wanamwambia asipoleta hizo vitu wanamuitia polisi. Nataka kujua Maida atajuaje kia gari anafanyia nini? Anaenda kufanyia nini kia gari? Hao watu wao wanakuanga careless by the way. Hao watu wao wanakuanga careless. Sasa msichana kama huyo mkubwa hizi locate kia yake ya gari anamuitia polisi. So walikuwa wanamwambia watamuitia polisi but unfortunately huyo msichana saizi ni mteja. So I told you what happened. Na huyo kijana wa hiyo nyumba akasema ampe hizo headphones. Je, umetafuta uchambuzi kuhusu pili tumwanzia ako Saudi na anateseka? Je, ulipata hiyo story pengine? Sijapata story ya mtu anaitwa Purity by the way. Mwanke anasema, "Be blessed for your wise advices. Thank you." Achana na Saudi wewe kipo wewe. Wewe ndio mjinga sasa. Kuna ngombe hapa inaitwa Sesi Jones M Carol. Nataka kila mtu anaona hiyo ngombe inaitwa Sesi Jones M Carol. Mumutume aende akule nyasi. Unajua sometimes kuna watu wengine wanakulazimisha. 
Mimi, this is my page and I'm creating awareness. What I'm doing, I'm helping somebody else. Ndio unapata dalala mwingine hapa ngombe inataka nyasi alafu unakuja hapa unataka mimi ninyamaze and what i'm doing sio wewe ume ujanilazimisha wewe ndio mavi yako sasa kwanza nataka wale if you are watching the one that one just tell this lady something else anaitwa Sesi Jones M Carol anaweza kuwa ni huyo dalala muuaji unajua unajua ninajua wale madalala wa uaji wale ma illuminati so wako hapa tu Saudi ni yako. Saudi ni country yako. Sometimes Go go atoke kwa live yako. Hebu jaribu ambia huyu huyu mshosh, huyu dalala mshosh. Kitu moja. Anaitwa Sesi Jones M Carol. Saudi ni yako. Saudi ni yako. Watu wengine mnakuanga na you are very bitter. Unajua sometimes tuna ni mtu ali request somebody chelimo ali request niambie watu inafaa ni what is supposed to be done wakati contract iko karibu kuisha niko hapa na wewe unaanza kuniambia mimi nikipo wewe wewe ndio kipo goyo hawa ni wale huyu haezi huyu anaweza kuwa ni wale alikuwa amejipaka rangi mdomo sometimes anashangaanga so sasa huyu msana alikuwa anaulizwa headphones hajaiziona Sita block nataka kwanza apate lesson hapa hivi kwa sababu huyu ni huyu ni dalala hata ukimuona angalia hata hiyo profile yake vilana ka Anajita sijui Sesi Jones M Carol sasa anataka akuje hapa trend for no good reason Ah uh, uh, Rijode anasema okay ningependa kuambia wenzangu hivi Waarabu wasiwahi kupata kama umelegea hapa kwangu kuna msichana alikuwa na, na hiyo tabia but nilimkomesha kabisa ana misplace ki, ana misplace kitu na anakuuliza be very strong ukiishi na hao watu usiwahi tetemeka true by the way unajua wako na hivyo don't read negative comments please uh, thank you judith i think that is the best thing assume yeye dada hata nimewachana na yeye unajua kuna watu wengine wanakuanga wachokozi they abuse me when the, wakati nimeweka maybe video na siko hapo lakini wakikuja kwa live yangu wanaanza kunitusi. So lazima pia mimi ni respond. Unaona? I'm a human being like anybody else. Hata mimi huwa nakasirika. Lakini mtu hawezi kuja kwa nini yangu aanze kunitusi tu, kuniambia Saudi. What people are learning a lot from me na sio mimi peke yangu. Wale watu ambao wana join, wanatufundisha. Unaona kama huyo kama Lejodi si amesema watu wasinini watu wasi yani warabu wanapenda kumisplace vitu by the way unaweza wanaweza toa hata nguo zako zote nje wafanye hivi moja moja unaona wafanye tu moja moja waki yani wana doubt tu hata kuna demo alisema ngo walimtafuta pesa baadaye ikapatikana chini ya nini wa waiguru chini ya kitanda yani huwa wanasahau saa zingine pia hata wanaweza tu maybe tu kukuchokoa kukuchokoza tu peleka huo mdomo yako kwani ilikuwa lazima ucomment kabisa wananitusi wanaishia shingo mara makucha nirushie you should be a quick response whenever your friends are in trouble don't wait she died to do the necessary umetuchana apeleka kwa stress zake kabisa kabisa unajua mimi i'm not giving up because nilianza hii story uh, march kwa wale wenye tumekuwa na hii safari tangu march vile niliingia Kenya kwa sababu Saudi Arabia ukileta mdomo domo kama hii the lucky mom unaweza kosa hata kurudi lakini vile nilifika hapa nikasema I'm trying I have to create awareness hakuna mtu atakuja kunishtua niambie this is what is to be done Lazima kama kama kitu haiendi vizuri lazima tuinuane kama wamama lazima tusaidie watu wetu kabisa Hatuta kuwa tunanyamaza ati sasa na saa hizi si kwa naleta kitu yote kibaya nataka tu watu wasaidike najua kuna mtu wa karibu kumaza contract na juu anafaa kufanya nini So na vile ule demo alinikuwa ameni request pale YouTube nikauliza are you ready to learn? Watu wakasema we are ready. So nimekuwa nikitafuta tu at least nimepata chance. This is my time I'm dedicating at least nisaidie one person. So sio nangi lakini huwa napenda watu wakinitusi lakini kama saa hizi huyo si kutaka kumnyamazia sana na tumemalizana na yesi na hiyo story ameenda kwa sababu najua hiyo obvious anaweza kuwa ni dalala kwa sababu anajua tu akuje tu You Saudia ni ya kila mtu we have our sisters there we have our brothers there na kuna watu kuna watu wageni pale wanataka kujua 
So ukiwaambia haina shida, hakuna kitu una una gain ama una lose. So watu wengine they are very bitter, alafu they don't know where to to pour their bitterness. So anakuja tu malipopote anaanza kukutusi na ukifuatilia huyo mtu sana hata unashanga because kama mtu ameamua kufanya kitu na ni page yake i don't see the reason unaweza kuja hapo ukuje uchokozi ju i'm a human being lazima pia mimi nitakutusi back ju hata eh hata yesu wakati alikuja akapata watu wanafanya biashara kwa kanisa aliwatandika na mikariti so mimi siwezi kunyamaza sasa kwa sababu u, umekuja hapa we ni dalala alafu tukuogope alafu ni nyamaze nitasoma comment yako uh, na hakuna kitu utanifanyia I'm the lucky mom. Niwakumbushe vizuri. I'm the lucky mom. I'm just a walking testimony. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia and I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. Na ina, sio Saudi Arabia peke yake. Kuna watu wanani reach out Lebanon, Iraq. Uh, Sijafanya stories za Saudi Arabia peke yake. Lakini so long as Ninaongea Saudi sana kwa sababu nilivaa hicho kiatu cha Saudi Arabia ninajua vile kinafinya. So nikiona mtu akinielezea kwa wale wenye menilicha out, wenye nimeongea na agents wao they will tell you. Ju ata agent size nikiongea na agent sijifichi na mwambie mimi naitwa the luck mom na kuna msichana wako akona hii shida ABCD. Anasema tu yenyewe en, inaka inafaa ikue aje. Tuna tunasaidiana. So far sasa hizi nimesaidia since Friday was 6. So siwezi kwa anaogopa ndio watu watu wa, wa, wakose kusaidika because of one person mwenye ako very jealous. And what I'm doing najua tu ni Mungu atanilipa. So watu wengine wako na machungu itabidi mmejiwekea pole pole. Ah, uh, huyo anasema uh, Judith anasema yes we are here to learn and support each other exactly. Kabisa very good keep it up mom thank you. Akwenda huko si lazima comment achane na wewe wenye wanataka kusoma something new exactly. Haina haja ya kupishana hapa hivi na nini vitu zenye hakuna. Kwa kwanza saa hizi tunataka juu hiyo kitu ya kumaliza contract alafu Mwarabu anakuambia urudi huwa inakuanga tricky sana. Na hata kuna msichana mwingine aliambiwa ukienda Kenya ukuje na msichana mwanzako. Unajua kuna familia unapatanga mzuri. By the way si ati ni Mwarabu wote wabaya kuna wale wazuri na kuna wabaya. So huyo msichana au wake walikuwa wazuri. Akakuja akachukua mwingine kutoka Kenya, msichana mwingine kazini yake. So pia ukiletwa kutoka Kenya na, na, na relative wako Saudi Arabia, wacha kuharibia mtu penye amefanya kazi miaka miwili. Na amen, amekuja amekuchukua kutoka nyumbani. Huyo demo akaenda akageukia yule mwenye alimchukua. Ile familia ilikuwa inampenda ndio wakarudi kumchukia. So hata unashangaa <laughs> Ndiyo kwanza eh, sana. So ndio unashangaa sasa mbona ukuje uchukue mtu kutoka nyumbani wale watu wenye walikuwa nakupenda warudi wakuchukie because of somebody mwenye ulikuwa umechukua pia kazi kuna watu wakona hiyo wivu Unaona Love you so much number Thank you thank you Emos uh, Rona anasema bravo mam thank you Yaani mtu anakutoa nyumbani au kwa na kazi yeye hata akupitia ofisi walifanya tu chini ya maji lakini huyo msichana saa hizi anapitia juu ya yule msichana mwenye alikuwa amechukua unaona juu ya yule msichana mwenye alikuwa amechukua kutoka nyumbani una, mtu anakuchukua nyumbani unaenda unamwaribia ndio naambia watu ukijaribu kama unataka kurudi to the same house jaribu upitie kwa ofisi because hata nataka kupoteza ile pesa yenye amekununua kushinda saa zile amekurudisha kama hajanunua hajakununua kutoka kwa ofisi hata kufanyia kitu chochote because hata kikuluzi ana haja because hakuna value au na value ukikubali urudi kwa ofisi ununuliwa fresh utakuwa umesaidika kwa sababu at least atakuwa analegeza kamba kijua amekununua pesa lakini ukirudi tu hivyo watu wengi wao wana, wana, wana kuanga nini kutrapped sana kabisa mtu anarudi tu hivyo anaenda anateseka na hapa sasa huku pitia kwa ofisi ofisi imekuwa mbaya sasa unaanza kusema ai si mimi nalipoanga 300 nalipoanga hawa kuongezea hata enda 15 wana kuongezea anga 100 200 unaona oh debra nakwambia ni different na mwenye unasema huyu anaulizwa ki ya gari na earphones she is my friend from Kisumu anaitwa Kandi lona I have niko na hiyo information. Kuna screenshot nilikuwa nimetumiwa iko na same information na nikaambia huyo msichana ako offline. 
Hii ni ya msichana, ki ya gari ni ya msichana, alafu earphones ni za kijana. Unaweza confirm kama ni hiyo. Kama ni huyo kandi. Lakini nilikuwa nimepokea hiyo message jana. So, sijafuatilia vizuri because nimekuwa shule, ndio nimekuja saa hii. Sijafuatilia vizuri but the last information nimeona huyo msichana amekuwa offline. Is, the, uh, is she the same girl? Hiyo ya hiyo kwa sababu nilisikia ki ilikuwa ni ya msichana wa Waiguru ya gari, alafu hiyo phone zilikuwa za kijana. Sasa huyo demo ameenda offline. Sijampata na nilikuwa nataka kufuatilia ni yeye. Oh, Lona, ni wewe ndio ulinitumia? Basi ni huyo, hiyo ndio pia mimi nasema. Ndio niliona message at ako offline. Nimeona by the way your message. Message tangu kwanza WhatsApp zinakujanga mingi lakini niliona jana tena asubuhi nimeiona ati yako offline. Nitajaribu kama uko na information yake alafu nipatie tuone kama tunaweza mpata. So guys, aina haja niende story mingi sana mumejua. Siku za mwisho mwisho be very careful na kitu unakula. Hata ni kama ni hizo the last three days. Juu unaweza pewa hata sumu ya siku mbili yenye itachukua two days kabla uja hujafika kwenye. Kifika hapo tu wewe kuisha. Be very careful na kitu yenye unakula ukimalizia contract. Alafu kuna kitu ya exit. Kuna rafiki yangu boss wake alikufa hii time ya Ramadan. Saa hizi sasa exit amekatiwa tikiti. Hiyo tiketi yake haija includewa mizigo. Alafu uh, still searching for her. is okay. Tutamtafuta Lona. Alafu sasa Uyo, uyo mama wa Uhuru ndiye amebaki waititu waliaga Ramadan sasa waja kupata exit imekuwa shida Exit ni ya maana sana Na hata wale wenye wanatoroka kupata exit lazima upewe na original boss hiyo ndio inakuanga shida So tunataka kuona kama huyo msichana anaweza kusaidika So ukiwa uko kwa contract stick to your contract kwa sababu ikifika time ya kutoka Saudi Arabia utahitaji kukuwa na exit na hiyo exit huwa inapewa ina, inapeanwa kwa your original employer huyo ndiye atapewa hiyo exit ndiye atakusaidia ukue release haraka kutoka kwa hiyo country so huwa exit inaleta shida watu wajue hivyo kwanza leo watu wajue hivyo kama una exit kutoka kwa hiyo inchi ni ngumu So afadhali uchunge tu kazi yako na wale ukiona ume umebakisha 6 months 5 months wacha kusema unataka kubadilisha nyumba juu exit yako utapewa na first boss ule boss wako wa kwanza ndiye atakupatia hiyo exit so ukiona kama kuna una, kuna uwezekano you change your attitude usijifanya kama una jam jam towards the end usiwe ni mtu wa kujam jam towards the end of the contract jaribu kuleta aman jaribu ku fake smile hata kama kuna Fake it. Fake it ukizoeana na wao waone tu hauna ubaya na wao. Juu the moment unatoka hapa ni kama uko na masira, huwezi jua mtu anafikiria nini na wewe utakuwa umenyamaza because you will not be able to share with them. Nini iko kwa kichwa yako? Try to create yani hiyo peace between you. Ndio ukitoka hapo utoke na amani. Because hata mimi kama nilikuwa napitia shida mingi yes, lakini nilifika towards the end boss wangu alikuwa mgonjwa wakani request niongeze miezi miwili apone kwanza ndio hata kama nilikuwa natakanga kutoka mapema nikasema wacha ni ni make peace ni make peace na hiyo 2 months so by the time 2 months inaisha walikuwa wamesahau zile vitu zenye tulikuwa tumefanyia na kwenda huko nyuma kwa sababu zilikuwa mingi so nilimaliza nili kama niko na amani kidogo walinifanyia shopping wakanikatia ticket wakanitafutia exit mimi walijua tu sitarudi tangu mapema walikuwa najua sitarudi So hata hakuna mtu aliniuliza kama nataka kurudi juu walikuwa najua sitarudi I was very clear Mimi niwaambia watoto wangu niliwachaka wakiwa wadogo Huyo mama kuna time alikuwa ananiulizanga saa zile nilikuwa na, na 15 months hapo kama anaweza taka kufanya kazi Saudi Arabia nikaambia saa hizi mimi niliacha mtoto wangu nilimtoa hivi kwa matiti ya kinyonya nikakuja So nataka kuenda wanizoe. I bond with them. So alikuwa anajua siwezi rudi kwa hiyo nyumba yake. Ju mimi ndio nilikaa hapo kumaliza contract wako. Watu wako wanamalizanga contract kwa hiyo nyumba. So it depend vile wewe mwenyewe utajipresent. So kwa hivyo be careful na kitu yenye unakula, usikasirike, 
usio unajibu mwarabu siku za mwisho mwisho uwezi jua ni nini iko hapa ndani kwake ukitaka kujua hizo vitu nilikuwa nimezifanya by the kitambo you can go to my youtube channel uangalie na wale wenye uko na bitterness you, you will have to bear with me ujiweke machungu yako and i'm ready to help anybody kama uko na shida genuine reach me out hata kwa inbox uniambie niko na shida the luck mom kama nitaweza nitakwambia lakini kama sitaweza pia nitakwambia so wacha tusaidiane kwa ule mwenye ku willing tusaidiane watu wetu wa kila mtu awe ako comfortable penye anafanya kazi na mimi kitu i need to appreciate to my fans when it comes to sharing kitu kama ni kitu yenye very sensitive mumenisaidia sana na naona kama Mungu anafanya kazi na sisi <coughs> wasiana wote wenye walikuwa na shida last week friday wenye nilikuwa nimepost hapa wote walipata nini the same day walipata usaidizi the same day na watu wafuate the right procedure ya kupata usaidizi kama unaona mtu mwenye unapatia shida zako ako inchi nyingine na sio Kenya jua tu itakuwa shida kupigia agent wako tafuta mtu mwenye ako Kenya mwambie at least atafute agent inakuwa rahisi hata rate calls inakuwa rahisi usipatie mtu wa Amerika mtu wa Sudan shida zako unaona yeye yeah, yeah. aziweka tu kwa mtandao bila kutafuta agent wako agents wameanza ku respond size lazima itume, imebidi imebidi tu wa respond tu imebidi wa respond kwa sababu hakuna mtu anataka kupoteza biashara yake so they have to respond wasaidie mtu mmoja badala ya jina yao kuharibiwa because tunawaambianga mapema mimi nikimupigia nikimwambia kwanza namwambia mimi the luck mom na kuna client wako wako na shida nikiona na kwanza na record without her knowledge ama his knowledge so the moment na maweza kumrecord akirijibu vibaya naweka tu vile amejibu at least watu wajue what type of agents tuko na wao sio lazima ukwe kwa government ndio ufanye hii kazi if you are ready to help your lady your fellow ladies your fellow sisters you can just do it bila hata kusema ati oh, kuna watu wanaambia wewe unataka kuonekana siji mimi sitaki kuonekana mtu yote so long as i save somebody's life that is enough for me on my side Eric anasema kazi nzuri dada Velma anasema keep up the good work. Mtu anaweza pataje kazi kwa whites and link. Kuna question hapo watu wanaulizwa kwa whites mujibu by the way mimi na link and I have your WhatsApp number please. Kuja kwa inbox yangu I respond all the messages. Niandikie tu message nitakupatia keep up the good work uko kwa your WhatsApp number please. My number is 0 wacha niwaambie tu 0727846930. Zero seven two seven eight four six nine three zero. Yeah. So guys, let's be our sister skipper. Let's be our brother skipper. Mtu asiku kushtue sana na matusi. Matusi haina value. So long as you are doing the right thing na unajua unafanya kitu yenye iko right, be passionate with what, with what you are doing. Fanya kazi yako na hakuna kitu itakufanyikia. Faith anasema you have a good heart, man. Be blessed. Thank you so much. So guys, uh As much as tunatusiana saa zingine sometimes inaeleweka but kama uko golf na unaweza taka kujoin our morning devotion lazima tupatie Mungu kwanza nafasi ya mbele huwa tunafanya morning devotion every 5 to 6 am every weekday kutoka Monday mpaka Friday pia at least pia tunakumbuka Mungu kwa sababu yeye ndiye ametupea huwai Usiogope kumwabudu Mungu. Unajua mtu anaweza sema wewe unasema nini? God with God everything is possible. Yeah. Na kuja Saudi next week. Olga keep going anasema anakuja. Watu wa Saudi karibisha Olga anakuja. And she yes, anasema good job keep up. Thank you. Pretty love this. Thank you Evelyn Kavuya anasema great job. Thanks for uh, noticing my comments. Okay Jabber uh dolphin ya buta sana very impressive by the way guys uh, kuna kitu nafuatilia kidogo mnajua anita bado ako hospital condition yake haija change ilikuwa nimefanya na yeye show by the way na hiyo hiyo video ukipata ndio tuliakanga namba yake ya simu 
anaweza saidiwa lakini so far nasikia bado kuna kesi na mngoja kotini lakini guys i'm going to update you haina shida ule Mungu ambaye alipigania Anita akatoka Saudi Arabia is the same god atampigania na hiyo kesi yenye iko kotini mtu ni mgonjwa baada ya kukotini na kama if we have any lawyer mwenye anaweza taka a, a, a represent Anita you can reach out in my inbox at least hajapata haki yake lakini bado she is suffering ako hospitali alikuwa admitted hajatoka huko nikipata time i'll just go there ni muone bado ako hospitali lakini bado kuna case iko pending huko kotini so guys let's keep supporting one another na kama unataka kuona hiyo nini Anita enda pale umsaidie tuliacha namba yake hapo you can reach out unaweza mpigia pia usikie vile anaendelea yeah hiyo ndio life tunaishi kwa hii dunia na tutakubaliana so guys thank you so much wacha nifanye kazi zingine pia at least i think mtu atakuwa ame benefit kutoka hapa hata kama ni mmoja kesi ya nini tena amekewa kesi Kenya kumefungwa ama ni project tu ya watu kuja side so bad eh so i Kenya yezi fungwa Saudi Arabia ndio inaletanga revenue kubwa by the way mnafaa kujua haiwezi fungwa nita update siku siku taka kuongelelea zaidi kwa hiyo kesi lakini itajitokeza tu yenyewe so nilikuwa na update tu bado wa hospitali nikienda huko nitawaambia na tu, tuwe na hiyo moyo ya kusaidia wenzetu hata even if it's sharing hata wale wa kushare is okay you can share alafu watu ukiona mwenzako wako na shida na una uwezo but uko na bundles you can share uwezi jua the destiny help anatoka wapi unaweza sema tena ya namba please eh? 0727846930 yeah okay bye